come as you are completely. And sometimes it's cool to have like a physical thing to like practice self-acceptance rather than just like telling yourself and just like, you know, like everything. So basically all this talking, talking to say I went hairy, like I like here, here, everywhere, like my legs. My name is Monita, I make high vibe spiritual music, I also produce for other new earth artists. And oh my merchandise is up. So, and it's uh <laughs> this is not this t-shirt. Oh shit. It's this. I just wanted to invite you to accept yourself as you are because like the more we accept ourselves, the more we accept other people, the more accepting other people are of us, the more we contribute to that consciousness grid like you know like shifting it towards like self-acceptance accepting others as they are as they come without like entitlement and shit like that and it's the most beautiful thing so i wanted to talk about like my hair journey in case you're thinking of going hairy too or doing some odd it's not even the going hairy bit but it's like if you are thinking of doing something that you would oh my god the wind is crazy oh my god something just broke <laughs> things that you do just to go out, just to be like presentable or whatever, like try to con reconsider and see, because if you don't do them for yourself, like when you are alone, because I know there are people who remove their hair and everything, even when they are alone, when they're not going out because they just prefer it that way and that's beautiful, but for me it was not like that, for me I was hairy, but like I only removed it when I went out, so then like it got me thinking like, hmm, why, you know, like there's like a, like a part of me which didn't, you know what I mean. The whole thing started in like a bit more than a year ago and I was so shy like with showing it and everything and I felt like I had to apologize for it. I remember I went out to like a festival and I wore like something short like a uh, spaghetti top but I had like a thing that I could wear over it but it was open and then like the friends that I went with like I love them so much and I don't know why and they are so non-judgmental and I don't know why I felt like I even like I felt the need and that was like last like summer like exactly like a year ago and I felt the need or like even less than a year ago and I felt the need to tell them beforehand because I was like oh maybe they're ashamed like to be with me or like whatever like to tell them that it's on purpose and alone that shows like how little like how uncomfortable I was with the hair out just for people to see so I came like such a such a long way um because now I'm comfortable with it you know like I felt oh yeah, did I finish saying what I was saying um so basically I felt the need to tell them like oh look I'm hairy, <laughs> you know, and, it, well, and I don't know, and obviously they were like super understanding, like bless them, love them so much, and now I'm just like, ee! or even like when I was in Tulum, and then like sometimes I just like, because there was the sun, so I walked like this sometimes to like shield my face from the sun, and then I was like, and then I liked watching the people who were like, you know, <laughs> who were shocked that I'm like hairy. <laughs> It's the most beautiful thing, but even when I got to Tulum and then I was um, like with this hair here, then the first few days I felt like a bit un uncomfortable and I didn't really wear shorts that much, but then I was like, oh no, it's fine. And But the thing is like the arms, like now I like them so much, like I actually prefer it with hair. I cut it a bit sometimes, just so it's not like crazy long because the curls don't stay, but um, because it's like friction and stuff, but now I prefer the look of it with the hair rather than without it, because without it, it looks so like an egg, you know, like it looks like very, you know, when you put makeup on, like for like a long, long time, like um, every day or whatever, like I didn't do it in like ages to wear makeup that much, but I remember back in the days, and then when you went without makeup again, then you felt like bare somehow, and it's like that with the arms as well, because if, I, if it's gone, then it's like bare, you know, so yeah, now I actually love it. <laughs> And no one ever told me like you or whatever there was one comment on an Instagram thing like literally just one saying like oh who's gonna tell him to shave <laughs> it's like I blocked that person and it was fine um, but I'm so happy that I like like it and then it shows you and it's not just because of the hair but it literally shows you your ability of your like how you can change your mind and how you perceive yourself and it's the most beautiful thing and how you can change, like, you know, because some, like, it's like, for some people, they love doing it, you know, like, grooming themselves and stuff. <laughs> I was never that person. <laughs> for me, it feels so nice just coming as I am without having to change things about me and being fine just walking outside and being like, hey, yeah, this is me.
maybe the hair thing doesn't resonate with you but maybe like other things like things that you do I don't know like things that you do and you don't really like and then you can like you know the, doing the physical thing sometimes like shows your brain like oh wow it's it is actually possible it is acceptable you can accept yourself as you are as you come you don't have to change things because society like it's kind of like a society thing right it's like on like the way we grow up is like oh you have to look like this you have to be like that blah 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 but actually when you don't comply i think that's it like don't comply like that's my that's my thing i love to i love to break the rules i'd love to not comply and it's the most beautiful thing when you and it's not even like breaking the rules as in like uh, um uh laws and stuff but it's more like society norms you know it's like fun and that was always fun for me like since i'm young but then i lost it a bit in like my teenagers and then early 20s but now it's like returning it is so nice to just break those norms and i think that's why i came what i came here for anyways so it's the most beautiful thing so try it <laughs> Like, I can just recommend it because now I actually like it, you know? And even my legs, I'm starting to like them. And then the only thing is, like, my lady parts because I have, like, a lot of hair. And then I don't know if I can wear a bikini. And then, like, you know, the hair looks out a lot. And then I don't know if it's, like, inappropriate or not. But, I mean, we are moving into a time where it's not going to be inappropriate. But then I'm thinking, you know, because it's, like, I don't know if that then still counts as my <laughs> vagina. You know, if it's, like, where the hair... I, I don't know. 